Romans chapter 12 verse 16 to 17. Be of the same mind toward one another. Do not set your mind on high things, but associate with the humble. Do not be wise in your own opinion. Repay no one evil for evil. Have regard for good things in the sight of all men. The Power of Our Mind No one can deny the fact that every successful man or woman, whether in the past or in present, has extraordinary way of thinking. Some of the great minds I could think of are Albert Einstein, Jose Rizal, Adolf Hitler, Rodrigo Duterte, Steve Jobs, and so much more. They are all brilliant in their own different fields. All of us has the same structure of brain and all of us are capable of using our mind powerfully like these people. If that were true, then why are we not all alike? Why there are successful people but are not satisfied with their wealth and fortune, while others strive hard aiming to achieve their goals and yet the odds are constantly against their path? In this verse, I believe God is telling us that true success is not based on how we think, but it is where we put our mind. God says, don't set your mind on things that causes one to be prideful, but be contented of his sustenance. God says, don't be wise in your own ideas, because apart from his grace, we all think only of evil things, whether we know it or not. We should set our mind like Jesus did. He always think of God the Father. He always think of what others need. He always think of what is good. We can only do that if we put our mind on the Word of God in the Bible. In His Word, He reveals to us the reason of our brokenness. He gives us a way to be free from bandages. He provides everything we need to be contented and happy while living here on earth. By doing so, we will not be overcome by evil, but we will be able to overcome evil with the good things we learn from God's words. God bless everyone, and to God be all the glory and praises.